Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Mets on African Motives, still on um, mathematics N5 uh, limits and continuity. So we just want to check one or two questions uh, from the question paper, which was written in June 2022. So this is June 2022 paper uh, that we are going to focus on. Uh, so without wasting much time, we've got the question number one that we have here, where we are given to determine the limit of the following all right, yeah, that was just five marks for the whole of the question, as you can see. So that's nothing. So we shall quickly rush through the questions and see what exactly we are given. Okay, so we had the limit here of um, x over pi over 2 minus r cos 3x. So that is the one that you're given as x is approaching 2 to 0. So the first thing is to test your limits by just substituting a 0 here. As you can see, the numerator definitely is going to be a zero here. Uh, we go on to the denominator here. This part is going to remain as it is as pi over two uh, minus. So make sure that your calculator is in radians. So this is a cos three X of which is a cos zero here. So uh, make sure that your calculator is in radians. All right. So there will be an R there, which is on your calculator. Already my calculator is in radians, but for that you just save shift then you've got degree, radians, and so forth and so forth. So radians, that's four. So we need a cos zero here. So that's shift cos uh, is zero. And let's see what you're going to have. That's half pi, which is pi over two. So definitely pi over two minus pi over two here, that's a zero. So you're going to have zero over, over zero. So that means that we are supposed to apply the L hospitals rule. What does it state actually? We have to find the derivative of each. So which means we shall have our y as the limit uh, this time as x still approaching to zero, but we have got the first derivative of x, which is a one. So that is one over. Uh, we have got pi over two. This is a constant, just like three, just like seven. So we're going to obtain a zero there. So it's going to be zero minus arc cos three x. What is the derivative of arc cos? Uh, 3x. If we are to check on our derivatives for a cos, we have got this here, d, uh, dx for a cos f of x, which is written as uh, minus the first derivative of f of x over uh, the square root of 1 minus f of x squared. So that's what we have there. So it means here we are going to have uh, minus here, okay? So of course we are going to have this negative. So it's going to be negative, uh, the first derivative here, which is of three X. So the first derivative of three X that is three over uh, the square root of one minus F of X squared. That is our F of X, which is three. So it's going to be three X uh, squared. All right, so that's what you're going to have so we can just choose to simplify this in another manner, depending with the way uh, that you want. But you can just write as your y is equal to the limit uh, as x approaches to zero here of one over, uh, that's minus and minus, which is a plus here, which is going to be three over the square root of one minus three x uh, squared. So that's what you're going to have here. So uh, testing the limits now is x is equal to zero here. That's a zero and square root of one because we are going to have one minus zero, which is a one. So square root of one is one. So we are left with one over three over one of which one over three over one, that is one over three. So y is going to be equal to one over three as x approaches two to zero. So that was the concept for this particular question. So as you can see, guys, it was uh, pretty easy. Uh, let's check the other part, which is 1.2. On 1.2, we are given a consideration that given that uh, lean y is equal to the limit of this part of the expression. All right, so what are we going to do is to first test whatever that we are given as uh, the limit of x here is approaching to four. So that's the first thing to test as x is equal to four here, as x is equal to four there. Uh, by checking this part, we are going to see that when x is equal to 4, we can even test on our calculator and see what is going to happen here. We have got the square root 
of for eight minus four, then whatever that we get, we subtract two, that's a zero. So which means we are going to obtain zero over. We do the same, uh, which is the square root of five minus four. So that's five minus four, whatever that we have, we subtract one and that's a zero. So we are going to obtain zero over zero. So that means the same way, like what we did on question 1.1, we are supposed to apply our L hospitals rule. Uh, so how are we going to do that? That is, we have to find the derivative of these. All right, so let's work on the derivative. So we put the square root of uh, eight minus X. So that is uh, same as writing as, uh, okay, let me just write it here. I just hope this space is going to be enough here. All right. So if we are to check this, we can rewrite uh, this part as X. Okay, let me divide. If I can divide, maybe it can work properly. Okay, I'm going to divide. We can write this as eight minus two to the exponent, eight minus X, sorry, to the exponent of a half from the square root part that we are given. And uh, as we know that we can actually apply function of a function to find the derivative of this, okay? Uh, yes, we've got our minus two, which is there, but I'm, I'm focusing on this part of eight minus X. So remember, how do you find the derivative? You have to find the derivative of the bracket, looking at the bracket, drop the exponent, which is half. We are left with X, uh, eight minus X to the exponent. We subtract one here, which is a negative half. Then you differentiate inside the bracket now, everything inside the bracket here, which is eight, that's a zero. Minus X is going to give us minus one. So we multiply by that. So it's the derivative of the outer bracket uh, by the derivative of the inner bracket. Sorry for that. Uh, I think there was something that I was trying to install while I'm working on here. Sorry for that. Okay, so that's what you're going to have. And uh, the derivative of negative two, that's a zero. So which means there's nothing that you're going to get here. So we can actually rewrite this as uh, this expression that uh, I'm having here, or you can write it as minus one times two times a half there, which is minus half X minus eight to the exponent of negative half, of which you know that to the exponent of negative half simply means one over. So it's going to be minus one over two, the square root of eight minus X. Remember uh, over half when it is now in the denominator, it simply means the square root of. So that's what you're going to get here. So that means we are going to have the limit of uh, negative one over uh, two, the square root of uh, eight, minus x, remember the, that part gave us a zero, okay, over, we do the same thing for five minus uh, x, as you can see guys, it's just one and the same thing, uh, it's five minus x to the exponent of a half uh, minus one, this one is good, so we are going to obtain the same format just like this part that we had here, because these are the same, but only that the numbers are, the, are, are different, so which means we are going to obtain the same thing, which is negative one, over uh, two square root of five minus X. This was a repetition guys, same derivative, same layout. All right, so that's what you're going to have. So take note, this is your numerator here. This is your denominator here. All right, so this is your lean Y. So lean Y is equal to, now we can test the limit now. If this X is approaching two to four, so in place of X, we just have to substitute four. So let's start with the numerator and see what you're going to have. So in the numerator there, we are given as a, as a fraction, that's negative one over uh, two square root of eight minus X. So it's eight minus four, which is eight minus four like this. So it's, we are going to obtain negative one over four. So this is negative one over four in the numerator over, we do the same in the denominator there. So we are going to have it as a, uh, here is just a five in place of eight, we are going to put five and this is negative one over two. So we've got negative one over two like this. So lean Y at the end is going to be this divided by this. That is negative one over four divided by negative one over two of which uh, is just, um, all right, let's just do this negative one 
over four uh, divided by that answer that what that we got. All right, so it's divided by the answer that we got previously. That's one over two. So lean y is equal to one over two. That's it. So it was just two marks, as you can see, guys. Nothing there. If you know these derivatives, uh, there is no need for you to actually do all these. You just write your answers direct. All right, calculate the numerical value of y now. All right, so uh, we needed the okay 1.21. That was the numerical value of lean y, which is this one that we got. Then on 1.22. That's the value of y. So to find the value of y is a continuation from what we had here. So this was 1.21, uh, now 1.22. So to find the value of y, you are going to start from lean y because already there is a lean that we are given here. Remember, lean uh, y simply means the logarithm of y in place of e. So if you are given that lean y is equal to half, it means the log of y in base of e is equal to half. So we can take it from the log part uh, here. That is the part that we can take since we know that from our logarithms, y here can be written as e to the exponent of a half. So y is equal to e to the exponent of a half, just, just like that. So you can leave your answer as that or you can even use your calculator to find the value of e to the exponent of half, that's uh, e to the exponent of a half, which is one over two. Uh, that's 1,648, which you can round off seven, this will be nine, so it will be 1,649. So y can be written as 1,649. Yes, that's the value of y. So, so many ways, uh, that you can actually attempt this question, typical question, but that's what we had on the limits guys from the question paper, which was written in June uh, 2022, Mathematics and Five from Amazon African Motives. Uh, let's try to do as much revisions as we can uh, till we meet again.